Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. And this is gonna be a good one because we are heading over to our uh, Christmas market. And this is actually our farmer's market, but the Christmas version of that. So I thought I would take you guys and show you our setup and kind of explain where we get our where we get all our stuff that we use to display our things and you'd be surprised about the places that we can get really great display stuff. <laughs> Gonna be our first return to the vlogging since our amazing dog bush passed and it's been tough and we had to take a couple days so thank you guys for understanding about that. He was a huge part of our family and you guys know that he was always in the background of our videos just being a really great dog so we're back and we honor his memory we miss him so much and um yeah this this video is gonna be dedicated to his memory we love you boy miss you so much if you guys have ever lost a pet you know how devastating it is they're like your children and for kale and i who don't have any human kids he was literally our baby boy and he'll be missed he'll be missed he was such a big presence in our house literally and figuratively <laughs> So yeah, today's gonna be a market day and I hope you guys find this kind of video interesting. If you're new here, my name is Jerrica. I am the owner and creator of Quench and in this channel we talk all about the behind the scenes magic of my soap and bath bomb business. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe and keep watching because I give a lot of great tips and you get to see what it's really like to own a soap business. The good, the bad, and the ugly, the great, not so great you see it all <laughs> for all my regular subscribers hi again and thank you so much for being so supportive in my community post i've read them all try to like them all you guys are just so amazing and that kind of support it means so much during this time so thank you guys you guys are amazing all right now back to our scheduled programming <laughs> so i'm still trying to get the confidence to vlog in public not quite there yet so <laughs> i have a few clips that i filmed in silence and that i will be voicing over so here we are at the venue and this is the first thing you'll need when vending a six foot table this is absolutely a must have and we started with just one six foot table two years ago and we still use this guy we got him from costco and he is wearing a fitted table cover that's so convenient, especially for outdoor events since it doesn't go flying around. You can see that there's little pockets where the feet of the table tuck into. I love this table cover. We got it at Amazon. I will try to link as much of the products that I mention in the description below. The next most important part of the market is your display. And these are my favorite display shelves. I bought these shelves from Etsy and I absolutely love them. As you can see, they flat pack, which is super convenient for traveling around with them. And I keep them together with a bungee. I will link the Etsy shop in the description below. It's a Canadian company in Alberta and I absolutely recommend him. These shelves are amazing quality and have stood the test of time. Definitely worth the investment. I get compliments on these shelves all the time. So you can see here how I keep the pieces together with bungee cords. You can get these at any home supply place. I find uses for bungee cords all the time, so they're generally just good to have around the house. The blue tack on some of the pieces is just sticky tack that I've used to hold signs down when we vent outside. Also, the black electrical tape around the edges serves to keep the product from slipping off and falling if the ground's uneven when vending outside. And here you can see how easy these guys are to assemble. They fit together like a puzzle. It's so convenient. You can also see how these risers come in a few different sizes. If you choose that Etsy shop owner, you'll find that he has tons of selection. You'll for sure find exactly what you're looking for in terms of height, the number of shelves, how wide and how long you want the shelves, etc. I am planning to actually buy more myself soon. <laughs> Thank you. 
The reason why I love these shelves is because it lifts the product off the table and brings my products closer to the customer's eye level. Creating height makes for a much more eye-catching display. I'm also able to fit a ton more product to my display, which creates the look of abundance that I go for when I set up my table. So I'll walk you guys through how I set up my bath bombs. Obviously I can't display them on my risers, although maybe in the future I might get really wide ones where I can do that. But in the meantime, I like to use this serving tray that I got from Winners. You can find so many cute display pieces from Winners. I prop it up so that it's slightly raised on one side, which adds some of that height that I'm looking for. I then use these adorable tin pails to put my bath bombs in. I got these guys from the dollar store. I find a ton of my display pieces from the dollar store, which is so awesome. These look so chic and the metal is super eye-catching. And yes, that's a fellow vendor asking me about my display as per usual. I can't stress enough how many questions I get asked because it just looks so good. Guys, taking the time to create a beautiful display and investing in pieces that display your products beautifully really pays off. To create some extra height at the base of my risers, I use these little crates. Guess where I got these? Yep, the dollar store. <laughs> I like to flip them around and use them as mini risers. These boxes came in a set of three and stacked inside of one another. I broke the smallest one, but since I got it from the dollar store, it wasn't a big deal. With that being said, it's important when choosing display pieces to get durable, sturdy pieces because you will be banging them around. <laughs> The next display must have is so important because this is how you will display your prices. I love these chalkboard easels that just speak so much to the farmer's market and handmade vibe. I got these from Michaels, but I'm pretty sure you can get these on Amazon too. I use chalk markers to write on them and look how bright and eye-catching these signs are. I've broken a few, but that's because I've dropped them when vending outside. They're actually pretty durable. If I want to make any changes to these, I just paint on some black chalk paint over the easel and it's like a fresh canvas. Now I'll talk about what I use to tote my products around. I use these clear, flat, plastic totes that I got from Canadian Tire and Walmart. These are super durable and make transporting my products so easy and convenient. Not only do they stack, which helps me stay organized, but they also provide protection when carrying my products around, which for bath bombs is super important. Next, I'll talk about how I display my lip balms. So, I used to use the cardboard lip balm displays, and these guys always blew around at the slightest gust of wind, which sucked. I lost a ton of product once when we were vending outside on a particularly windy day, so I decided to use these glass jars that I get from, that's right, the dollar store. <laughs> these are super durable, unique, and eye-catching. They're made of glass, so transport these guys with care. When displaying your soap, it's always a good idea to group like scents together. For example, in my display, I like to put all of the soaps scented with essential oils on the top two shelves. 
it's so much easier to point them out when they're in a group. So when a customer asks about essential oil soaps, I just have to say that the top two shelves are soaps scented with essential oils. Easy peasy. I like to put my seasonal soaps in the middle, so in this case, it's the candy cane and spearmint glove soaps. I package a lot of product in glass jars. I find transporting these jars in the boxes they initially came in is the best way to move them around from my house to the event. I put these boxes in a tall tote for sturdy and safe transportation. Now I'll touch on display extras. This is a wire light that I got from the dollar store. These are so cute to include with your display since they add a festive pop of light and they're easy to transport because they're so tiny. And this is my display in its full glory. I know it's a lot of product, but I love a full table and some might not like how packed it is, but I found this type of setup to be so inviting for customers. It's what I like to call organized chaos. <laughs> Each product is organized to its own space on the table with the price clearly marked. This is really important because sometimes customers can be shy to ask how much something is and they just might pass your table altogether because they don't know the price and they don't wanna bother you. So be sure to mark the prices clearly. The next bit is super important and that's how you take payment. The first form of payment I'll talk about is a way to take payment through credit or debit cards. I love to use Square. You absolutely need one of these. Having a Square reader has increased my sales exponentially because once people find out I accept debit or credit, they usually add on items without a lot of thought. And these days, a lot of people aren't carrying cash around with them, so you have to give them this option so that they don't miss out on buying your product. Now, for cash transactions, you will need a float. A float is an amount of cash in coins and small bills. This float will allow you to hand out change when people pay in cash. I like to have a float of about $150 when I go vend. To carry the cash, I use this server's apron, which I think you can get on Amazon. I was gifted this from another vendor, so I'm not exactly sure where she got it. And I like this because I can carry my cash around with me as opposed to a cash box that stays on the table. And due to the times we're in, we need to stay safe, so of course I keep my mask on at all times. Also, this market requires a shield between yourself and the customer. Kale made this using materials he got from home hardware. Basically, it's a bucket full of concrete and wooden posts stuck into it. Hey guys, oh, what's that? Lip balm fell. Um, <laughs> we're back from the market. We were actually have been back since two and uh, I took a really long nap and so did Kale. We just had to, <sighs> I didn't get much sleep last night. I just really needed to rest and close my eyes and I'm glad I did. Saturdays are usually really hard for me because we have to get up so early and I'm standing for such a long time. So yeah, markets really wipe me out. Even though it's the only one that we do in the week, it's just, oh my gosh, we get home and I just want to go to bed for a little bit. So I woke up and we are now back at it. Kale is wrapping some bath bombs. I'll show you those in a second. But we have a lot to do. We have a lot to make and 
we're just gonna spend the rest of the night doing that. I gotta make lip balms. I gotta make lotion, but I think I'm just gonna make lip balms tonight and then lotion tomorrow. The market today went really, really well. Yes, I'm wearing a... <laughs> I'm wearing my robe because I feel cold and I just want to feel snuggly and warm. But yeah, it was a, it was a really good market. But yeah, lots of orders to fulfill too. Uh, we have all of tomorrow as well. Etsy's really great in that it doesn't count the weekend days as part of your fulfillment days. So if someone orders on the Friday and you have it in your fulfillment schedule that you'll ship it out in three to, or yeah, in three days, it doesn't count the two weekend days. So you actually get from Monday to Wednesday to ship it out, which is awesome. I like that about Etsy. Got a little bit of time, so that's why we're taking it easy but there's still tons to do and we're getting back on it, getting back on track, slowly but surely. What temperature do we melt the wax at? Oh, <laughs> careful. What temperatures <laughs> is the wax at? <laughs> it is at 80 Celsius right now. 80 Celsius, yeah. And we need it to be above 70. So. Yeah. It was um, on there for longer than what it had to be because um, I was just working on some packages. <laughs> So I poured the lip balms and I've just put them in the freezer so that they can solidify overnight. Yeah, I think that's just about our day. We are working on a few more packages to get out the door. I wanted to take this time to thank all of you who took the time out of your day to send Kayla and I your sweet messages about our dog, Bush. You do not know how much your kind words have meant to us. This has been a really, really tough time and all of you have been so understanding and so loving and sharing your own stories about your own fur babies that have passed away and your support has meant so much to us so thank you thank you so much we are still grieving don't know if you can tell but my energy hasn't really been the same as it has been in other videos and this will take time for us to heal but as business owners we still have to show up we still have to keep going and i know that our boy bush he just loved it best when we were working and he could be in the background relaxing and just, just being a dog, watching his, his people be at home with him as they worked. So thank you guys again and if you are new here and you like what you saw, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. I have a lot more to show you guys. I have a lot more content planned in the future so keep an eye out for that and for all of you that are already subscribed, you guys are just so amazing. Wow, your your support again has been phenomenal and has meant so much to Kayla and I. So with that being said, thank you for watching and following me on my journey. I hope we all grow and continue to thrive and improve our businesses together. Keep smiling, keep hustling, and keep being awesome. Bye guys.